In 2019, a group of Monster Hunter fans decided to take on an ambitious project. They wanted to revive the long lost Monster Hunter 1 and Monster Hunter 2 game servers that was closed down back in 2011, therefore resulted in locking away countless of the game's content that only a few people in the world has ever seen. But how did this restless project all start? Let's familiarize ourselves first. On March 2004, Capcom developed and released their new game called Monster Hunter for the PlayStation 2. Initially, the game was released in Japan, and on September 2004, it was released in North America. After a while, it got an expansion called Monster Hunter G. However, the expansion was only released in Japan. Fast forward on February 2006, Capcom released a new Monster Hunter title called Monster Hunter Dose, or Monster Hunter 2. It's a sequel to the first Monster Hunter game. However, just like last time, the game ended up only being released in Japan. Therefore, only a few people outside of Japan have ever played or knew about these kinds of Monster Hunter games. But that's not it. These PS2 games have sold less compared to the portable games of Monster Hunter that time, solidifying how only a few people ever got to play those games. Eventually, in 2011, both the official game servers for Monster Hunter 1 and Monster Hunter 2 would come to an end. As time passes by, more Monster Hunter titles were developed and released. It expanded the Monster Hunter community and the fan base more than ever. Eventually, some of these Monster Hunter fans have decided to try out older Monster Hunter games. But they were faced with a problem. The old Monster Hunter titles like Monster Hunter 1, the expansion G, and Monster Hunter 2 are only in Japanese text. But also, a lot of these games' content were locked away since the official servers have shut down. This ignited an urgency to some of the passionate Monster Hunter fans. Therefore, in the year 2019, two Monster Hunter fans by the usernames Vicious Shadow and Shivay X asked their friend by the username The Fog if he could host a potential Monster Hunter 1 server. A lot of things happened behind the scenes, but after convincing, The Fog agreed to host a test server to assess the situation. It took a while but they were making a slow and steady progress in reviving the Monster Hunter 1 server. Things were just getting started. Another Monster Hunter fan by the username NecrobugSquasher joined in and create a Discord group for the Monster Hunter 1 test server. And after a while, some Monster Hunter fans took notice of the ongoing project and they joined the Discord group. By the end of 2019, they somehow managed to create a buggy server for Monster Hunter G, the expansion of the first Monster Hunter game. It was a rough project done by the fans. But this project was just a stepping stone on how they would work on the servers for Monster Hunter 2. As the year 2020 came around, The Fog decided to step down from the Monster Hunter servers project. In his absence, Vicious Shadow took over and controlled Monster Hunter G's server infrastructure. Around the same time, another Monster Hunter fan by the username Faust joins the team and began working on the server project for Monster Hunter 2. Even though Faust briefly worked on the servers for Monster Hunter 2, there were only little improvements, nothing too groundbreaking. But it's still worth noting how Faust's initial effort lays a good foundation for the future development of the servers. A project that started as exciting and full of hope became quiet, and the projects slowed down. There were no significant developments taking place within the team or its projects. The year 2021 came, and not much progress was done on the servers. It wasn't until a new member joined the team by the username Seki. Seki started fixing the code to make it easier to use, therefore adding progress to the server project after a long period of stagnation. 
but this was just the beginning. Because fast forward in early 2022, the server development team expanded even further. In January 2022, another Monsanter fan by the username Grender joins the development of the server. And in mid-2022, another Monsanter fan by the username Tutai joins in as a reverse engineer and they began fixing the code from the beginning. This made the Monster Hunter 1 servers work better and not crash as much. It was a huge turning point, but the story doesn't end there. In late 2022, Grender and Tutai continued their work and they made massive improvements to the source code for all servers. They fixed the Monster Hunter 1 run issue, added event quests, and even resumed working on the Monster Hunter 2 servers with the help of the Korean reverse engineer Spaghetti, who isn't really part of the team, but worth mentioning. On November 2022, we would come to see this historical moment in Monster Hunter. After so many years, Two Time managed to reintroduce the event quests into Monster Hunter G, making possible to fight monsters like Crimson Fatalis once again. This is the first time ever since the official servers were closed. On December 2022, Jerther, who is part of the early testers, released a recording where both Grander and Jerther were able to connect and play together in Monster Hunter 2 after 12 years. At this point, all hope wasn't lost in reviving these old servers after back-to-back -back breakthroughs from the Genius team. This would all continue in the year 2023. More and more projects were accomplished within the Monster Hunter community. On May 2023, two Monster Hunter fans with the username Acute Acid and Kresna, also known as Break Arts, managed to complete a monumental translation project. They've managed to translate the entire Monster Hunter 2 game into English. Not long after, another big announcement was made. On June 2023, to support the growing community, Grender thoughtfully set up a forum website where players could connect, interact, and share their experience playing old Monster Hunter games. <sighs> wow, this feels like the good old days. And on July 2023, they've also organized a beta test for YouTubers and streamers to try out Monster Hunter 2 servers for the first time. And lastly, an official logo for the genius Monster Hunter Old School team was released. This brings us to now, an exciting time for the Monster Hunter community. As you can see, it's been a long journey. A lot of Monster Hunter fans helped along the way. There were other fan projects completed around 2023, like Monster Hunter 4 English Patch, as well as the Monster Hunter Tri fan servers that had 
closed beta test around August of 2022 and it was released to the public around June 2023, not that far off from the Monster Hunter 2 servers. If you want to hop on to the Monster Hunter 2 and Monster Hunter 1 servers, feel free to join the Monster Hunter Old School Discord server. Also, we've made it to 10,000 subscribers. I would like to thank each and every one of you who stuck around, even if I barely upload any videos. That's all I got for now. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.